Well, hey there, Sunday School. Um, so today we have quite a story. Um, do you remember last week how during our story we found out that the Egyptians had put the Israelites into slavery? So the Israelites were being very mistreated. They were being oppressed. They were miserable. And they were ready to give up. But they kept praying and praying and praying. God, help us, save us, rescue us. We know you can do this for us. So, of course, God helped him. And he did it through Moses. Hey. So, all right, Moses had grown up. And he had a lot of privileges. Um, you know, mom's a princess. So, um, he was, he had learned a lot. Um, and there was one day where he was older. He was actually out in the fields. Um, actually, it was like real, like way out in the wilderness um, by a, a mountain. And he was taking care of his sheep. Well, he looked over and off in the distance, there was a bush and it was burning up. Actually, it was on fire, but it was not burning up. So he went over there to check it out. Like, what is going on? This bush is on fire, but it's not burning up. And as soon as he got, he got pretty close. And all of a sudden he heard, Moses, Moses. Guess who it was? <clears throat> it was God. So God was calling to Moses. And Moses is like, here I am. <laughs> And God said, Moses, take off your sandals. You are standing on holy ground. So Moses did not hesitate, took off his sandals. And he even like hit his face because he couldn't, he just couldn't look God in the face because he knew how sinful he was. So God said, Moses, I've heard the Israelites crying out to me for help. I've heard their prayers. They have been oppressed and I am going to deliver them. And guess what, Moses? I'm going to use you to do it. So he said, here's what you're going to do, Moses. You're going to go back to into Egypt and you are going to tell all the Israelites and the Pharaoh, the king, that your people are going to be let go. All the Israelites, they are going to be freed. And Moses is like, okay, well, there's a lot in that. Uh, that's a big order. But let me ask you first. When they say who sent me, like, because, you know, you sent me to do this. Who am I supposed to, what am I supposed to call you? Like, what's your name? Because when people talk about God, the Egyptians were talking about a whole different God. They believed in false gods. So he's like, what do I call you? And this is what God said. He says, I am who I am. Tell them that I am sent you. And then he explained it. He said, I am the God of Jacob and, e and Israel. I am the God of all your forefathers. And that is who is sending you. This God who has been here throughout so many generations taking care of you. So Moses is like, all right, now he was thinking harder about like what this would mean for him to have to go do this job. And he's like, but what if all the people, all the Israelites are like, how do we know that God sent you? Like, you can't deliver us from slavery. You can't free us. God, how do we know God's with you? And so God said, okay, look at that staff in your hand. So he, uh, Moses had the staff and he said, th God said, throw it on the ground. So Moses threw it on the ground and it became a snake. And it was, it was so scary of a snake that Moses actually ran away from it. Like, ah, he ran away. And then God said, okay, now pick it up by its tail. Moses did. And lo and behold, that snake turned right back into a, a staff. So that was the first sign. And God's like, if you do that, some people will definitely believe that I'm the one who sent you. That is a thing that only someone who can do miracles can do and clearly if you can do miracles God has done that for through you so uh he said okay I'm gonna God said I'm gonna give you another one because I want you to become confident that you are going to be able to deliver these people so he said put your hand inside your cloak back then you know the shepherds they would have had like these cloaks these robes he said put your hand inside of your cloak so Moses reached his hand like his arm and he put it inside his cloak and he pulled it out. 
and it was leprous. So leprosy, if you don't know what that means, it's like this disease that takes over your flesh and your skin turns snow white and it just decays. Um, and like your, it just, your flesh dies. And so he pulled, Moses pulled this out and he has this leprosy all over his hand and his forearm. And God said, now put it back. So Moses put it back in and he pulled it out. And there it was just like his normal flesh had never been leprous. And then God said, all right, I'm going to give you one more so that you are confident that I am going to be with you. And so he said, um, if anyone doesn't believe you, you're going to go get some water out of the Nile River. Now remember the Nile River was this really big and important river. Everyone would have um, used the Nile River for its water. So he's, God said, Moses, you're going to take some water out of the Nile River and then you're going to dump it on the ground and it's going to turn into blood. And all the people will see that God is with you, Moses. I am with you. And Moses was still, he was like, I can't do it. I can't do it. Like, please don't send me. Send someone else. And all, all this lack of trust that Moses was showing, God was promising him, I'm going to be here for you. I'm going to be with you. I've even given you miracles that I'm going to let you do. And so God was angry at all this mistrust, all this lack of faith that Moses was showing. And, he, and God said, okay, I will send your brother Aaron with you because Aaron is confident he's well-spoken. That was one thing that Moses was really worried about. He's like, I can't like speak well in front of crowds. I'm too nervous to do it. Like, please don't send me God. And he was showing a really, really big lack of faith there. But God's, God was gracious again, and he said, okay, your brother, he's well-spoken. I am going to give you the words to say, and you're going to tell them to Aaron so that your brother Aaron can be my mouthpiece. And um, he said, your brother's on his way now, so hurry back, go to Egypt, meet up with your brother, and you're going to start freeing the Israelites from the Egyptians. And that is the story of God Calls Moses by Sunday School.